Today in the news, we talk motherboards, chipsets, and Amazon gaming. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Now you might be asking, Snows, why are you wearing a bowl of noodles on your head? Well, after I saw that this is what my hair looks like when shooting a video with Eber, I thought I should cut it and I royally messed up. So you'll have to bear with me for a few weeks on this. Anyways, let's get started with AMD. With the coming of Ryzen 3000, we got the new and improved X570 chipset. This brought us support for much higher rated DDR4 memory speeds, PCIe Gen 4, and a much needed improvement in I.O. thanks to the 40 lanes of PCIe. So what more would you want? Well, apparently AMD is working on an X590 chipset. This was found through Gigabyte's X570 BIOS file where X570 slash X590 was brought up all over the place. There was also a tweet by the maker of the DRAM calculator for Ryzen 1 Osmos, although it seems like the tweet has been deleted since. So what could AMD add to this new chipset? Well, some of the outlets talking about this, like Computerbase, say that AMD might unleash the full lanes of X570. Right now, the chipset has 16 lanes plus four for the uplink to the CPU, but they could bring it up to 20 lanes plus four for the uplink. Anyways, the new X590 boards could be the first chipset made by Asmedia since AMD switched to their own design manufactured by TSMC for X570. So we heard about X570 and X590, but what about what most of us would buy? The good old B550 and A520 motherboards. Well, according to Digitimes, those chipsets won't be ready until the end of the year, meaning we're probably going to have to wait until early 2020 to see them on the shelves. Some speculate that B550 and A520 might not support PCIe Gen 4 on the chipset level. That means that you'll still have Gen 4 for your GPU and NVMe, but not for other devices. Devices. Although, once again, this is just speculation. Personally, if I have to upgrade, I will not be going into X570 or X590, since recent price leaks show that those boards will start at around $200 US or $270 Canadian, with most of the boards at $250 US and more. B550 is definitely what I'm eyeing for here, and hopefully it'll be more in the $125 US, maybe $150 to $200 Canadian range. What about those of you guys who are looking into upgrading? this year. Are you ready to spend $200 US on a motherboard? Let me know down below. Then we have Intel. For the last few years, the company has been suffering through CPU shortages left and right because of their never ending cycle of 14 nanometer refreshes. In the last year or so, Intel alleviated some of that strain on the fabs by making TSMC manufacture some chipsets and by reverting some H310 chipsets back to 28 nanometers. Well, it looks like it wasn't enough and Intel is now going to use Samsung for production of their future 14 nanometer products. According to reports from SE Daily, Samsung will mass produce Intel's Rocket Lake CPUs in the fourth quarter of 2020, which is slated to release in 2021. I swear, every time I look at Intel's roadmap for desktops, I'm just shocked at how long they're going to keep 14 nanometers alive. While I don't think that Intel is completely done optimizing it, I mean, it seems like every year they're able to just bump up the clock speeds, I do think that furnace memes are incoming for the blue team. Moving on, it looks like Amazon is stepping back from the game development a bit. During E3, dozens of employees from their game dev studio were given a choice to move into other divisions within Amazon or leave the company with a severance package. It's understandable why Amazon would want to take a step back though. We had a cancelled game called Breakaway, which was a mix of Rocket League and Mario Strikers. That game was pretty far into development before they canned it. New World, which has been in development for some time now and is supposed to be this massive MMORPG, and another one called Crucible, a 12-player hunger game with a 13th player as the Game Master, and the Grand Tour game, which while it's an okay game, it's more like playing Forza while watching the actual Grand Tour show. And while they did release the Grand Tour game this year, this was their only game released since 2015. Amazon says that it's shifting focus to those bigger games like New World and Crucible, but other unannounced games have been cancelled according to the report. I have I have a bad feeling about this. I mean, as big as Amazon is, I wouldn't be surprised if they just completely canned the idea of making games. 
Moving on, if you have some time to spare and want to try out a pretty fun web-based game, Inferno Plus on YouTube made a battle royale game based on the original Mario Brothers on NES. I tried it out and while I couldn't really get past the first level, it was pretty fun. Everyone is on the exact same map and things like Koopa shells or bumping into blocks that someone is standing on will eliminate an opponent. You can check it out at InfernoPlus.com. Anyways guys, that is pretty much it for the news today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you want to roast me about my hair, you know where to do that. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. As you might have noticed, I'm just uh, piling up the uh, icons on my desktops. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one.